we're going to be talking about Doom today. Okay. Uh, we just got to play the beta last night. Uh, we played it for a good few hours. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so why don't we just get into it? What was your initial thoughts on it? Like, um, you know, you've, you've played it now. Yeah. What do you think? Well, uh, initially I had played Doom, the original. I, I pulled in the original one. We've been playing that a lot recently. Yes, we yeah. have. And I mean, you know, when it, when it comes down to right before E3, of course, there's always going to be a big old gap waiting for games to come out and stuff. And there's always some classics. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, Doom is definitely one of those like go to games. You know, I mean, it, it's it's one of the most timeless series I've ever seen in my life. You know, t- compared to Super Mario Brothers or any other old arcade games like uh, Pac-Man, you know, Doom is one of those games where it just stands the test of time. Something fierce. Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's one of those classics, and I mean, the gameplay is so simple to just pick up and play. I mean, you can give the controller to almost anybody. Someone's going to figure it out. That's true, and you know what? That's something I particularly liked about this beta is that the movement system alone it felt so similar to the classic doom it wasn't it wasn't spot on but the the level of movement fluidity you know i I really enjoyed it they keep things quick and in the original game i mean you really glide around in that original game but i mean it was fun it was a blast and i'm not gonna lie when playing the beta okay i didn't know what the controls were i just like okay i'm just gonna try this and see what happens and uh you you mentioned oh it's like rb to change to your secondary weapon i was like oh there's another weapon okay um interesting okay but, I mean, I don't even know what half of the buttons on my controller did. I had a jump button. I, 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 I didn't know of any reload or anything. I knew my switch button. I knew my shoot and my jump. And I know how to aim. And that's all I really needed. And exactly. I, I did pretty good. See, now, that's something Classic Doom was really good at. You know, it's like the game, it just it just felt right. Which is why I think it helped stand the test of time, of course. Mm-hmm. But the controls were so simple. It's like you could hand that thing off to anybody. And they kind of knew how to play just with the controls. Um, uh, I, I think the new Doom, well, okay, so, so something interesting about the new Doom game, okay, was it was a multiplayer-only beta. Now, we know Doom, classic Doom, you know, that's, you know, not Doom too much multiplayer. never been it's about there, but... the multiplayer. And, I mean, I, I know they added a multiplayer, yeah. uh, to some of the previous games and stuff, but, I mean... But it's known was... for its missions, you know, and it's, yeah, you know, it's fighting off it's the It's classic demons. gameplay. Yeah. It's classic gameplay. And, of course, this was almost completely absent of any sort of demons or anything. I mean, yeah, sure, you had the walls textured and some of the space base and stuff like that, and occasionally someone can get possessed by a demon and start shooting off rockets and stuff. You know, I did want to say that um, uh, the Doom... This Doom multiplayer beta, uh, personally, I think it looks really good. You can tell some of the things look a little bit dated, some of the objects you would pick up. The demon that, when you see it on screen, when it shows, like, the person who killed you and it's the yeah, demon, yeah. that thing is one of the most low-res things I've ever seen in a modern-day game. So I'm, I'm really excited. Um, it looks like Doom is actually released May 13th, so it's actually coming a little bit closer than I expected. No. Oh. Um, uh, I, I honestly, I, I forgot. I thought it was October. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I was confusing it with Gears of War. Gears of War, I think it's like October 20th. But, um, uh, so Doom is coming out soonish. Mm-hmm. Uh, and being a multiplayer only beta, do you think, what, do you think it was a smart decision to do the multiplayer portion as the beta instead of doing the, uh, single player? I know they're pushing a DLC pass here. Yeah. You know what they're doing here. Okay. They're pushing the multiplayer because, of course, Doom isn't even known for that, okay? Doom, we, we already saw the trailers, uh, I, I believe, last E3. We, we saw the trailers of all the demon killing and all this crazy, ridiculous uh, uh, melee kills and all sorts of things, okay? It's got its classic gore. I mean, Doom has always had gore. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> by, by nature. Um, uh, but, yeah, I mean, this whole beta was focused on the multiplayer, okay? Specifically to show it off and show that it's a viable part of the game, and they they... They believe in their product here. They believe in the product, the the gunplay, the smooth, uh, smoothness of the movement system. All that is all in play in the multiplayer end. I mean, it works like an arena shooter. True. Okay. And with it being so accessible and not necessarily the main selling point of the game, they're trying to see, probably gauging what the public's going to think. So I mean, if they're selling a season pass, it's like, well, this will probably be a good, uh, a good way to determine whether or not. They can viably, consistently, maybe keep this multiplayer as an option in the Doom series in the future. Yeah, and uh, you know, uh, I actually heard 
I, I can't quite remember which company, what the name of the company is, but uh, this multiplayer wasn't produced by id Software. No. It's actually produced by another company which helped work on Halo. Oh. Uh, I think it helped work on Call of Duty as well. So like multiplayer. Yeah, so these people, they know multiplayer. They worked on Halo, they worked on Call of Duty. Mm. And uh, one thing you definitely get a feel of is it kind of feels like Call of Duty a little bit in some er- in some respect, uh, especially when you're looking at the loadout system. Okay. Um, uh, w- one thing I did want to kind of address is that a lot of people were a little disappointed, you know, because they were looking for an arena shooter. Yeah. You yeah. know, and they got these loadout system, and that's not really, it's not typically part of an arena shooter. Uh, I heard that the Quake Live... Uh, one of the latest versions of Quake, yeah, the yeah. multiplayer-only component, did feature some loadout system. And I'm not sure it's inherently wrong, you yeah. know, but certainly the weapon variety is a little low, I feel. Okay, okay, so yes, that, that's a good point, okay. Um, I'm hoping just because this is a beta, maybe this is just lacking in the weapons, or something like that. Maybe, maybe this isn't every weapon available. Something tells me that's it, but if I hope this not. was a, like, like, let's say this was Unreal Tournament or something, okay, that might be every weapon available that you might find sitting around the map, okay? It might be the occasional map has a special super weapon or something, yeah. you know? But in this case, I mean, of course, with the loadouts, I mean, like, there's so few weapons. Y- your loadouts are pretty restrictive. I mean, these are, with so few weapons, they might as well just throw them around the map. And you know, that system is like, well, if you don't have much to screw around with, I mean, what's the point in even customizing a class? Well, that was one of the big complaints that a lot of people had. It's like, well, I I thought you were making an arena shooter, you know, but you can't pick up other people's guns. There's no guns Ah, scattered around the map. So yeah, shoot someone. They can't like blow up and drop the shotgun at you when you catch it and then fire at something else. (laughs) And that kind of leads me to my next point here is is the power-ups in the game, okay? Okay. Uh, You know, typically in an arena shooter, you'd you'd memorize the map. You know, you want to know, oh, uh, the sniper spawns here, you know, at the last 30 seconds or something like that, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, Some people don't like that aspect, but it is a major aspect of arena shooters. It's it's the history of arena shooters. True, and Doom doesn't seem to want to go with that. You know, you do have the... uh, uh, a few of the power-ups, okay, is they have the armor pickup, okay, the super armor, okay, uh, they have uh, small health pickups, small armor pickups, um, they also have the new demon pickup, now, what do you think about the demon pickup, it, it kind of shakes gameplay, that's for sure, okay, so, I found the demon pickup kind of interesting, okay, I mean, yes, I mean, that wasn't the most, it wasn't the most glorious model, but, I mean, beta, whatever, maybe yeah. he'll be radiating I don't, I don't know. it's a beta maybe it'll look it's better beta, but whatever. go um uh i thought it was interesting i don't see anything wrong with it i think it was a little bit strong i mean with the weapons did seem kind of weak like to take out that thing and he's got I mean, the one shot rockets it, it seemed like it was one shot and a lot of people oh yeah absolutely um so i mean i think it had a bit much hp but then again i guess that's your reward for picking it up in the in the th- See, in the field. Now, I heard something really interesting. I was, I've been listening to a lot of p- different people's reactions towards this beta. Okay. And I heard something really interesting about the demon. And they kind of said that uh, the demon is kind of not fun <laughs> for a lot of people. Think about it. Who's having fun when there's a demon on the map? The demon. The enemy team's getting slaughtered. Yeah. And you're sitting there while the demon's getting all the kills. Mm. You know, so who's who's actually, like, enjoying this demon? And it's just the one person who got it. I, you know, I, I think when that comes down to it, okay, um, I'm seeing the arena shooter aspects here where, I mean, th- the weapons, I think the weapons, all of them, were relatively weak. But then again, maybe that's standard for arena shooter. And and when it comes down to customizing your classes, I see this in so many games, like Titanfall, even yep. one of them. Oh, yeah. Okay, where the weapons, it doesn't really matter what you pick up. They're all relatively the same thing. It's not really going to matter what you're shooting as long as you're shooting it accurately and hitting them, I guess. Well, I, I felt Doom did a pretty good job of uh, diversifying its weaponry a little bit. I would have been happier to see more weapons, more different styles. Yeah. Well, that's uh, what I'm saying, is that there are so few weapons here, it almost, d- despite the low count of weapons, it doesn't feel like an advantage to be using any one of them at any certain time. Which, I mean, if this was, like, I don't know, like, I don't know, if this was Unreal Tournament, okay, you'd be wanting to make sure you're picking up certain weapons and stuff. You're going to be better with one versus the other or something. In this, it's more so, yes, you can customize your classes, but it doesn't matter what you stick in there. You're going to be doing relatively the exact same thing. A rocket launcher is a primary weapon. Yeah, that, that was an interesting choice. Uh, it's now, like, okay. Uh, uh, 
one of the other complaints I heard, okay, was that um, particularly, it seemed like some of the weapons, they, they worked very well. You know, the shotgun works great. You know, shotgun, you shotgun is easy to use, I definitely. would say. It is um, easy to use. Yeah. I, I really enjoyed the rocket launcher. Okay, the rocket launcher has that secondary uh, left trigger ability oh, yes, where yes. you can detonate a rocket. That's a neat which idea. Is, that's pretty that's cool. I really idea. enjoyed that. Uh, we, I felt the, the lightning gun was working pretty well. I enjoyed the vortex rifle. It's kind of mm-hmm. snipery. Mm-hmm. Um, one thing I did notice is that the heavy assault rifle and the plasma rifle are a little slow on the kill. Yeah. Um, uh, I think they're just supposed to be easy to use, but I mean... I don't know. Well, one thing, I, uh, if you think about the assault rifle, okay, it's left trigger is an aim down sight. Um, some of these weapons have secondary abilities. A lot of the weapons have just aim down sight. Um, uh, the heavy assault rifle, when you aim down sight, it kind of like sort of, you know, you move slower, similar to Call mm-hmm. of Duty. Mm-hmm. Okay. Funny thing about an arena shooter is if you're not moving, you're probably dead. Yeah. You know, um, uh, but I- interesting. I, I hope they address some of the balancing issues. I felt the, the heavy assault rifle was a little weak. Plasma rifle, you know, that, weak. that heavier assault rifle, okay, the thing I saw here, okay, me personally, I feel this, I feel this, <laughs> okay, I, I'm, I'd say I'm fairly decent at Call of Duty, yeah, when it comes to Halo or arena shooters, I am not fairly decent, see, I cannot <laughs> aim without that aim down sight, so, I mean, that heavy assault rifle thing, okay, with the aim down sight, it might, it, it really helps, it, it would help you adapt to playing the game, make it more familiar, yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, it's accessible to even Call of Duty players well, to play. Well, something, something makes me, you know, think that they designed this with the Call of Duty player in mind. You know, you got your loadouts, you know, that you can switch between deaths yeah, and that kind okay, of thing. Okay, okay, I see what the, you're saying. The different weapons. The, the first, the heavy assault rifle, it's one with a, a aim down sight. Rocket launcher? No, it's got a secondary thing. Uh, you know, lightning gun is a special ability. Um, uh, you know, but it, it seems like some of these basic units... Or the base heavy assault rifle definitely mm-hmm. uh, is more designed for someone to adapt into the Doom environment. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, all right, so the last thing I want to discuss was customization. Okay. okay, this game is going to have a season pass. You know, they they really want you to get this season. Pass, season oh yeah, it's got a th- season pass, three DLC packs. I think I heard. Are they giving you levels? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It'd be map packs, that kind of thing. So like okay. a full three uh, uh, um, Call of Duty experience. You know what I mean? Hmm. Uh, but after each uh, game. You can unlock different um, customizations, taunts, you know, armor pieces. I think that's kind of cool addition. Right, right. You know, it's cool to be able to, to uh, adjust your character. Uh, you can get weapon paints. I and think stuff. it's fun, except I mean, I mean, it, it, all the characters look like Halo. Yeah, yeah. Which I mean, it's like I have the Halo editor in Halo. I okay, okay. I guess to be fair, that's to a, be fair, that's I mean, a, Doom has been a Microsoft. A, to, Doom's been a while, property. a lot longer. Um, uh, yeah. I, uh, I do know that some of the classic Doom, um, armor has looked very similar to Halo. See, and, well, I was thinking about that, okay, and I was thinking, man, I would have loved if they just had, like, the original dude, okay, maybe in all HD, you know, he has his, his super armor pads on or something, but you could see his bare skin and his muscle. Oh, yeah, I would love there. that. It's like... All this is, it's crude armor. Yeah, come you on, know, we'd, crude we'd battle. like the, the mom tattoo heart, you know, on his arm I'd or something. Okay getting the reload that. in there. I'd be so okay with that. Um, uh, anyway, uh, so so overall, um, what did you think about the Doom beta? You know, do you, are you excited about buying it? You know, do you think it's more of a rental? Uh, did you really enjoy the multiplayer? Did you hate it? What'd you think? Well, I, I, I'm just going to say, okay, I personally... We still I, are in beta phase, but go, go ahead. Yeah. Initially, when I started this this beta, okay, I had an extremely hard time aiming, okay, because I'm not good at just doing, like, the full acceleration aiming like Halo does, okay? See, I'm don't used to a of shooters. I'm not used to it at all, okay? Um, although, this was super interesting, okay? The movements, uh, the movement and how the weapon and the gunplay works, okay, is so familiar to the original Doom. I ended up turning down the vertical sensitivity to down to, like, nothing, okay? And I'm just, like, whip around horizontally. You just blast people with that shotgun and stuff. And, oh, my God. I, it, I picked it up like nothing. After I played with your controls, yeah, I, I did feel that definitely. I was like, okay, the verticality... It feels like Doom now. The verticality helped. You yeah. know, I, I felt it was a little bit sensitive. But the way that you changed it, it definitely uh, made it easier mm-hmm. to uh, play. Definitely. Yeah. Um, but overall, I would say this was something that was, I did enjoy. I did enjoy playing. And when we're in a Call of Duty drought, okay, or I played, I, 
I played out Call of Duty right now. Yeah. Okay, I'm yeah. waiting for the next one. We'll get it next Our November AI or something. <laughs> you know? It's like, okay, well, I want to play something now. This is something I would throw in there. I would play this multiplayer. I don't see anything wrong with it. It was fun. Now, okay, so my opinion on this multiplayer, I really enjoyed it. I mm. was hoping, you know, I'm more of a fan of, of arena shooters. It yeah, feels yeah. like it's been forever since we had a good this one. This felt like an arena shooter. Yeah, and it does. It does. Uh, I felt like it felt like baby steps towards an arena shooter like it's there but there are things missing it's an interesting hybrid between like a, a loadout based call of duty style right, right. shooter mm -hmm. and arena it's an interesting hybrid uh i did enjoy it but particularly i think i'm the most excited about the single player campaign you know now yeah. that i've played it and i kind of felt the controls out I'm like you know what i think i am excited about this single player the multiplayer is good enough you know i think it's okay yeah it's okay arena shooter um but the single player, I'm even more excited about now that I've actually felt the controls, you know. So I'm really excited. I think I think what accurately gauges where I'm at with this game, okay, is that us being twins, okay. I'm not sure we'd buy two copies of this to play multiplayer. Yeah, but getting a single there. copy, yeah. that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I feel you there. I, I do. So that was our Doom multiplayer beta impressions. If you like that, go ahead and hit that like, maybe even the subscribe. My twin brother and I also do a Twitch stream every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Even uh, Saturday now. So check that out. That's at twitch.tv slash gaming twin show.